Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. It is Tuesday and it is the 8th, I believe. Oh no, the 10th, February 10th. Um, and um, I am just finished off with school. I just got home and I got changed and put some makeup on and um, now I'm about to head out to lunch with Tara and Shelby and Monica. It's actually Shelby and Monica's birthday today. I'm super excited that I get to spend some time with them today. So we are headed out to Toast, which I have never been to before, but sounds delicious. I'm so excited. And a quick OTD. I'm wearing my hat from a little store on Melrose. I'm wearing this Brandy t-shirt dress, um, some shorts from... Uh, urban underneath and then just my mystery black booties. We all know I don't know where that is and then this Marc Jacobs bag Which is knockoff so get on my level <laughs> Alright guys, just parked my car and now I am waiting for the elevator at this lovely parking garage. Um, and we, hopefully other people are going to be there soon. I don't know if anyone's there yet, but we'll see. At Toast, hi Tara. Hi. We're still waiting for Shelby and Monica, but we have our menus, so let's take oh, a quick look through. Got it, I almost dropped my phone. Really close one. <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm gonna get the French toast, just the classic because I'm boring. No. Am I ever talking to you? <laughs> and then I also think I'm gonna get sweet potato fries. And I was thinking this red velvet shake situation looks pretty interesting. I have to ask what it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Monica and Shelby are here now. Hooray, happy birthday guys. You guys just did that so insane and I got it on camera. I'm so excited. That was like major twin power. I loved it. The Uber here asked how old we were and like Shelby said 20 and I said 19. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> right here. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh that looks so good. Thank you. Wow, great. Holy crap, that they looks got so meals, good. They got matching meals. meals. We're like the new twist. And then I've yeah. no sweet potato fries. <laughs> okay, guys, we are. I'm with Becca now. Hi. Hello, Becca. Hello. So, Hello. Um, and now we are going to head out to see Wicked, and I am so excited. You Wicked excited? <laughs> that was so great. That's good. That was really great. I am wicked excited. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go and do that now and uh, see you there. Really? Be crazy. Yeah. Wicked. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Check out the stage, guys, so cool. This is such a beautiful theater, too. Guys, Wicked was so good. It was so good, I was dying the whole time. It's just, it's such a good show. The cast was so perfect, everything was so good. What do you think, Becca? Oh, <laughs> yup. My God. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen the show, and it was by far one of the best plays I've ever seen. Yeah. Go see it. Seriously, it's so great. If you ever have the opportunity to see it, to see it, Google to see if you can find some sort of a legal copy of it. I don't care how you do it, just watch it. Um, live, now, live though is like way better. Oh god, yeah. Please, if you yes. can go do a live, do it. Do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we are walking down Hollywood Boulevard to go to Mel's for some dinner because it's late and nothing is open and we're hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Mel's and I think we're gonna get gravy fries because I'm really craving them. <laughs> Chocolate milkshake. Perfect midnight snack. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm home now. I'm in my pajamas. Um, I was just on the phone with Tara for the past like hour because I was walking home alone part of the way and I just, I don't know, I always call Tara when I walk home alone because it just makes me feel better that I'm speaking to someone um, when I'm walking alone. Um, but I'm sorry, I just need to do a little rant here for a second. While I was walking home with Becca, I got spoken to by guys uninvited seven times 
seven times I counted because it was getting so ridiculous. I wasn't wearing a single product provocative thing. I was wearing jeans, a tank top, a leather jacket, and a pair of boots. Like my makeup wasn't anything special, like nothing. And I swear seven times people were like, damn like you guys are beautiful this one guy like walked straight towards me and was like damn girl you're so sexy like mm, i would treat you right you need to be treated right you're so sexy all this stuff and then was like upset when i wasn't responding to that and this is just my biggest pet peeve about living in hollywood is that this happens all the time half the time i feel like turning around and being like i'm 15 years old because i'm not but i look 15 so people would probably be like shit i just i don't understand it it's not like i have like some amazing body or like I'm I don't know like I just don't get it I don't understand it and I don't know why guys keep doing it because it can't possibly work like maybe one out of the 100 women who you do that to might respond positively to that the rest of the people you're either gonna get yelled at or ignored it doesn't work and it makes me so furious that guys think it's okay and appropriate to speak to me uninvited and then get upset when I don't respond to them. Like, it is not my job to respond to you catcalling me on the street. When you're yelling at me from your car, I have no interest in that. When you're coming up to me and being like, yo, like, where are you guys going tonight? Like, we want to go where you go. I don't care. I'm not telling you where I'm going, okay? If I wanted to speak to you, I would speak to you. Do not speak to me uninvited. It just infuriates me that guys think that they have the right to do that to someone, to do that to a, a human being another woman like whatever it's just oh it drives me absolutely insane it drives me crazy i just find it to be so incredibly rude like oh i just get so worked up about it because it's so frustrating and like it's just to the point where i just want to like turn around and scream at them but i'm like you know a fairly small person you know like I feel like if I were to say something back to them, I could get myself into trouble. So I don't even feel like I have the power to defend myself from it. It's just so ugh, infuriating. It's the worst. Even Molly is upset about it. If you just heard her cry, she's crying because she's upset that guys are such jerks nowadays. That good guys are a dying race. So that's my rant for the night. <laughs> it just put me in like a really sour mood it just really annoyed me but today was so much fun i had a great time wicked was seriously out of this world incredible the girl who played um alphabet was so good the girl who played glinda was amazing like i was just so impressed i just love that and like sort of during defying gravity which is the finale to act one i was just like crying because i was like i want to do that so badly like uh seeing shows that are so good just renew my passion in acting so much and like watching that I was like that's what I need to be doing with my life like that's where I'm going to find fulfillment so it was a really motivating night actually like Becca like helped me like get motivated and Wicked helped me get motivated so yeah it was actually overall a really good night and a fun day with Monica and Shelby and Tara and so yeah I'm going to end the vlog here because it's 1am and I'm going to go to sleep now I love you guys and I will catch up with you in my next vlog Bye.